Hi everyone, I'm Bob Greenberg and I'd like to take a few minutes to talk to you about the unsung individuals who lubricate the gears and grease the skids of our daily lives. For example, the waste collection people who pick up our garbage, recycling, and green waste. Our compost is recycled here in Oakland, California, with the regularity of a satellite clock. I'm talking about the newspaper delivery person who manages to consistently toss my San Francisco Chronicle on top of an active sprinkler head with consistently uncanny accuracy. The Steph Curry of newspaper delivery people. You know, on reflection, let's scratch the newspaper delivery person from my list of indispensables. To my car mechanic, Tommy Ng, I love you, dude. Likewise, hugs and kisses to my wonderful GP and our pediatrician, to my dentist, Ellen Venton, who's kept my teeth healthy since 1980, to Erin Thomas, who's kept my ever-retreating hair looking as good as it can for 16 years, and to my accountant, Bill Pizik, who has helped me to stay solvent since 1979. Yes, indeed, I do like long-term relationships. And now, please, Allow me to share the love with that single person who allows me to carry on as a musician from day to day, week to week, secure in the knowledge that the most important pieces of professional gear that I own will always be in tip-top shape and ready to go. To the indispensable Michael Callahan, my piano tuner. Yes. It is piano tuning week, and it's time for my friend Michael, who I've known for some 35 years, to lay his magical hands upon my pianos, a Baldwin Model B Grand that my maternal grandfather bought on December 24, 1934, and a Steinway D that I selected at the factory at Astoria, Queens, on July 2nd of 2010. It's a fact. Nothing sounds or feels better than a freshly tuned and regulated piano, and no one does it better than my good bud Michael. So bring it on, baby. It's tuning week. Postscript. When well-meaning folks talk about owning electric keyboards because, for among other reasons, they don't need to be tuned, I just want to puke. Living organisms and complex machines together experience time, and with it, they experience change. They need to be tweaked and lubricated and adjusted and maintained. Change is the way of the cosmos. Even our computers need to be updated. Speaking for myself, I do not trust any piece of gear that would claim to be impervious to time, impervious to change. It's just not natural. Truly, electric keyboards are to real pianos what rubber dolls are to our lovers, an inadvisable substitute. Bye-bye.